hi guys welcome to my youtube channel with this video i'm going to uh, talk about uh, uh, image magic uh, extension uh, using image magic i will uh, create some php uh, example and also with this tutorial i will uh, show you how to install how to set up your uh, local development environment with image magic that means how to install image magic within your local uh, pc and uh, using php how to create how to resize image how to uh, is uh, how to create new images using image magic likewise uh, i will uh, uh, show you some examples to you uh, code examples and yeah let's go to uh, our uh, video and uh, yeah first uh, we will install image magic um, okay um, here uh, i will i have already installed uh, uh, XWAM package to this uh, PC this within my local environment. Okay, I will start Apache. Apache started. Uh, okay, before we uh, uh, moving forward, uh, we need to uh, check uh, our PHP version and uh, some information to verify some information to install uh, to download the uh, Image Magic package. First, we need to verify our uh, local. Uh, uh, PHP version and uh, there is a several uh, configuration. Okay, let's open this command uh, line interface. Okay, and uh, with this, I will zoom it. Okay, uh, let's check uh, PHP version. PHP $i. Let's find uh, PHP version. Okay, our PHP version is 7.4. Okay, and let's check our PHP. Fine, is it thread safe or not? Thread safe. Safety. Thread safety. Uh, enabled. Okay, it's enabled. Uh, right. Uh, let's check. Uh, PHP dollar i uh, i and uh, find architecture architecture okay it says uh, 64 okay now our uh, PHP version is 7.4 and it is uh, thread safe enabled and uh, our uh, PHP uh, um, uh, is a 64 bit uh, in, uh, install then we know our configuration now we need to uh, download our image magic uh, library let's go to browser let's check uh, let's check uh, okay uh, let's go with the uh, this browser Okay, first uh, navigate to Google because Google dot Okay, uh, let's uh, uh, search like this image mag magic uh, image magic uh, Windows because I always Windows 10 and let's say PHP 7 PHP okay. Here we have uh, that our result comes with this uh, first uh, uh, result. Let's go to the first uh, result. Mm. Here within this page, we can um, we can um, uh, search what we want. That means according to our installations, that means our PHP version, according to our architecture, we can download the Image Magic package. Okay, our uh, example uh, says it's about uh, 7.4. Let's select the 7.4. Here we have 7.4, and also uh, our package is thread safe enabled. Thread safe, uh, not thread safe, thread safe, and also 64 bit. Okay, this is the package we want. Let's download this uh, extension, uh, Image Magic. Okay, we have to download these two uh, extensions and image magic both together. Let's download the exten uh, extension first. Okay, it's downloading and also we need to download the image magic uh, package as well. 
okay now image magic uh, one is downloaded but uh, extensions i think okay i guess uh, this package are not available anymore let's open this and uh, let's check what are the available packages image magic 7.0 is not available let's try with the available package image magic 7. Point, uh, we have uh, 7.01 uh, let's download the 64 bit one so, uh, P image magic 7.1.0.13 okay this one 64 bit one let's go with this okay uh, it's downloading to download let's go with the other one let's extract this extract 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 call extract to okay okay it is extracted let's uh, now uh, okay here we uh, within this uh, we need to find uh, let's say uh, image imagic mmg i dot yeah let's say that okay we have we need to copy this to uh, into a, our php extension directory my php extension directory available within the c drive and next exam uh, within the exam here php ext okay this is my php extension direct, extension directory i have to copy that in php image imagic dot dll into this extension directory uh, right okay I have copied it and uh, second thing I need to do is uh, I have to uh, extend the dependencies let's go to our uh, here we have uh, this folder we have to extract our image uh, magic uh, folder let's extract that Okay, now uh, within this folder we have bin folder. Here we need to copy these DLLs. Uh, let's uh, we need we just only need uh, let's first we select all, and uh, we not going to copy everything within this folder. Let's we remove the uh, uh, unwanted things. Let's uh, remove these things. These are not uh, we don't need these things. This uh, PDB things we don't need we need only dlls A lot of pdb these are we don't need these as well okay now we have let's copy let's copy into uh, copy into uh, uh, in, uh, that our php folder <coughs> into our, <coughs> sorry into our php folder let's go to uh, here let's go to uh, c drive side of the c drive xvamp there's a folder php here we have uh, php do, uh, dot exe let's find that first okay here we have php dot exe then uh, we need to copy uh, thing uh, those files to here okay right now Okay, then now it's copied. Now, um, now we need to uh, add the extension to uh, our uh, PHP configuration file. Let's go to our config and let's open PHP ini. Okay, here uh, we need to add the extension. Let's find the extension. Let's add extension. Everywhere, everywhere. Okay, here. Uh, let's okay here we have extensions okay we need to add uh, our uh, new extension to here let's add uh, let's add our extension uh, let's call extension call extension equal uh, uh, php 
underscore image okay here we can add this to not here I will I think it's better to add in here pay dot dll because it's dll okay uh, now we have updated our PHP in file let's uh, restart our Apache stop start okay uh, now uh, now we have started our Apache uh, let's check uh, let's go to our uh, localhost localhost and let's go to php info okay let's create file folder let's go to here c drive xamp htdocs ssdoc Okay, I will create a PHP info file because it will not open it. Get, uh, PHP info dot PHP. Okay, let's open this. Edit. Press uh, edit. Okay, let's add uh, PHP. Echo PHP info. Okay, this is the file. Okay, let's go to PHP info. Still not open. Uh, Localhost PHP info. Okay, uh, finally we got the uh, PHP info. Okay, let's uh, check our image magic is installed or not. Image magic. Okay, uh, here we have installed our image magic is successfully installed. As you can see, it says uh, uh, its version is uh, module version is 351, and like uh, we have these uh, classes, we, we within the PHP we are going to use these things, and uh, yeah, here we can it will support these uh, extensions. That means we can generate these uh, images using the image magic. Uh, uh, software we can uh, generate we can convert our uh, jpg to uh, this format or even jpg any 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 image format to this format let's say uh, let's check uh, there's a format uh, let's say uh, we have a web format let's check uh, web format okay here it will support for the webp as well that means we can generate webp if we want we can generate webp using this image magic package okay uh, this is the section about how to install image magic within your local development environment i think you guys also can uh, install using this uh, tutorial uh, okay now let's go to our how to uh, use this image magic within the php code Okay, uh, let's do uh, some code example. How to use uh, image magic within the PHP? Let's create a file called uh, img.php. Okay, I will uh, add the image magic code to here. PHP. Uh, let's uh, first create uh, let's create image magic dollar img equal to new uh, image. It's, we need to provide our path uh, to image. Uh, I need to first. I need to add the image. Let's okay. I will copy this image. This image uh, originally its size is um, okay. Here you can see the uh, it width and uh, height. I'm going to uh, uh, create the thumbnails using uh, this image magic library. I will uh, reduce the size of this image. Okay, let's. I will copy first this image to my project folder. Let's go to test here. I have to copy this. Okay.
Okay, I will rename this and let's rename this to img. Dot, uh, it's a jpg1. I will create a png1 img jpeg. Okay, let's here uh, we need to give the uh, path dollar um, server because I uh, we need to give the uh, document root document path document uh, document doc u m e n t document root document root inside of uh, now we are in within the uh, ht doc folder we have to go to the uh, we have to go to the test and also we need to uh, img dot jpg is the file okay this is the root uh, folder folder path file path and we now we need to resize this let's resize this img uh, let's resize um, resize image resize image uh, let's give uh, i will give 100 as a uh, width and height it will set according to ratio um, uh, also here also we need to give null because uh, uh, let's say blur or null and so null. because these parameters are mandatory okay uh, now uh, now we can write this image to our uh, our project uh, location let's write this image to the img right right image Right image to let's get these things again. We need this information. Okay, I'll uh, write this as a uh, new IMG. Let's say this as a PNG. Okay, let's run this code. Uh, let's run this IMG dot php so let's check our project folder let's go to okay here we we are we have in the our project folder here you can see that now it will create uh, this thumbnail let's check this uh, here go to the properties okay here it is uh, png format and also uh, yeah you can see it uh, width is uh, 100 and height set up according to the uh, ratio that image uh, width and height otherwise we can crop this image uh, we can generate a, a webp uh, format likewise we can do a lot of things with this uh, image magic uh, within this video i'm only explaining you how to install this uh, image magic within your local environment and how to use it with the php code mainly we can use like this there there's a lot of uh, things we can do with this image magic uh, but uh, here i'm not going to uh, give you all all those examples here uh, you can see i have resized the image using uh, resize uh, command then likewise you can do a lot of things with this image magic uh, uh, yeah i think uh, you guys now understand how to uh, install image magic within your local development environment and how to use it within the php code yeah i think uh, you may learn something about using this video if you happy with this please uh, give me a thumbs up and if you want to see future videos like, like this please uh, give me uh, please subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching my videos let's meet with the next video thank you very much